Hello, and welcome to another indie horror game. This time, I'll be playing the demo to all songs are from The King, and if you'd like to do the same, the links and the details are down below in the description. Now, this is going to be a first-person psychological horror that's going to explore the meanings of life, suffering, and death, a lot of it to do with poetry. And that sounds very intriguing. I'm wondering if this game is going to be up its own ass, full of itself, you know, after reading a description like that, but, well, let's find out. Let's begin a new game and see. Here we go. Okay. So, here we are. Can I leave? No, I can't. All right. <laughs> can I have a look at the robot? Yes, I can, with a little spin. Nice. Okay, so, uh, let's see. There's a rocket down here as well. Brilliant. And a scary doll. Everything comes with a spin, it seems. I take it I'm playing as a child or a very, very small person. So, maybe this is the puzzle for me. Okay, right. Yeah, there are meant to be puzzles in this game. Um, yeah. The star doesn't fit into the star-shaped hole because it's kind of warped out of shape. In fact, they all are. Okay, we can use the arrow keys here. Um, I'm trying to use this one. This is the handle, I think, that would come out after you put all the shapes in. Okay, uh, right. So, the pentagon? Right. They're all warped, aren't they? Like, that one's not going to fit either. No, okay. It's like they were all burned in a fire. Very strange. In fact, this area on the ground does look scorched, doesn't it? Ooh. Oh. Maybe I can leave. All right! <laughs> okay. Well, let's have a little explore, shall we? This way. Okay. Yeah, quite a few doors to choose from. All of them locked, by the looks of it. Okay. Uh, what about one of these? No. Finally! Okay. <laughs> it's always the last one, isn't it? Okay. Here we are. Let's have a look. Okay, I can't have a look inside the filing cabinet, unfortunately. Anything on the desk? Or in the drawers? Doesn't look like it. I'm just looking for something to interact with. There must be a reason we're allowed access into this room, right? The phone? Oh. Oh, I can use this journal! Alright. Ah, I see. Is there a plain text version? Right. Welcome. In this journey, the seeker reacheth a stage wherein he seeth all created things wandering distracted in search of the friend. How many a Jacob will he see, hunting after his Joseph? He'll behold many a lover, hasting to seek the beloved. He will witness a world of desiring ones, searching after the one desires. Is that right? Okay. Looks like we've got a couple of pages here. Ah, are they all blank? I think they're all blank. I guess I'll be filling this up as I go. All right. Okay. Is that it? Uh, actually, no. Was this here before? Oh, okay. Something just unlocks. It's a mystery. Not everything is easy to understand, if you say so. Okay, so that's been added to my journal. Was it this door that locked or unlocked, or was it another one? Let's have a look. It wasn't that one. Right, this wasn't here before, was it? Oh, okay. The true lover. The true lover yearneth for tribulation, even as doth the rebel for forgiveness and the sinful for mercy. Ah, okay, we're given access to yet another room, and it looks like it's the bathroom! Right! But where's the toilet? Oh, this is hell. This is the real psychological horror. Okay. It's a pretty good looking sink, aside from the fact that I can't see the running water. Nothing down there in the bath. The... oh, hang on. Ah! Yes! Right, okay, let's go back to the bedroom and have another look at that puzzle, right? Do I have an inventory? I know I've got the journal. There it is down there. Have I got to replace all the pieces then? Right, let's see. The star. Where was the star? There it is. Okay. And now it fits in perfectly. Right, so we're, we're going to have to find all the other shapes. Interesting. Okay, well, there's quite a few to find. I don't know if we're going to find them all in the demo, but 
Let's try it, shall we? So, yeah. What's that? A purple circle. Right. Nothing in the dollhouse. No. There's a bucket teetering on the edge. Um, okay. Got a doll here. I don't suppose we, we take it back, do we? Another one? Yep, another one. All right. Okay, what's going on here? I'm, I'm definitely onto something. There's a, there's a purple circle, or a pink circle, and a blue square. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. How did that happen? Was that because I put the star in? All right. Very strange. Well, you know, I, I figured that this game was going to take me on a journey of sorts. Uh, I wasn't expecting it was going to be quite like this. But, hey, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, I've got to admit. So, where are we exactly? Very late at night, out in the middle of nowhere. There's a note, I think, on the floor, illuminated in the light, yeah. Fortitude this time. For everything, there is a sign. The sign of love is fortitude under my decree and patience under my trials. Right. Am I going to have to go through your trials in this game? Maybe. Oh, what's this? Oh, wow. I'm just traveling through another dimension, but hey, you know, <laughs> I brought myself a flashlight. Not a very good one, but one nonetheless. Okay. Well, I can hear the beach over there, but as you can see, it's closed. Hmm. Oh. Looks like there's another note over there. Is there no... Okay, there's no jumping. There's no crouching, going prone, crawling, nothing like that. Hmm. Okay. There is another note over here. The true seeker hunteth naught but the object of his quest, and the lover hath no desire save union with his beloved. Okay. I think a lot of the poetry in this game is going to be from rather famous authors. I think T.S. Eliot was mentioned. There was a few others as well. I can't remember them right now, but maybe you guys can recognize them in the comments. Ah. Right. Yeah, picking up the notes changes things. This has just appeared. Along with a carving knife, which I can take. Should I be worried? <laughs> Okay, looks like I'm not taking this to the beach. But that barricade has actually gone, so we're going to move a little bit further down this way. Weird game so far. Don't know what to make of it. What are your thoughts? Leave them down below in the comments. Okay, we've got men, the men's toilets. Yeah, public restroom. Along with the notes. Okay. Sacrifice. Nor shall the seeker reach his goal unless he sacrifices all things. Okay, is that why I've got the knife? I'm here to sacrifice all things. Again, no running water. There's that doll, right? Hang on. Okay. Uh, something just popped up in the top right. Okay. Look at me. Oh, you can zoom in. What on earth is going on? <laughs> Where's that knife? You're covered in blood. Oh. Oh wow, what the hell did I just do? Well, the doll's gone. Oh. I've got bloody footprints. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> what the hell happened? I'll tell you what the hell happened. I just flushed the toilet. Nothing down there? Nope. Okay. What's this flashing about? One of the lights is playing up, I think, and... Right, yeah, let's get away from the urinals. Oh, it's the police car. The body bag. And another note. Oh, there's the doll! Right. <laughs> Live free of love, for its very peace is anguish. Its beginning is pain, its end is death. I can see that. Surely it doesn't have to be, though. Uh, right. Well, um, someone's gone through the crime scene tape. I'm going to follow, and I'm going to head back this way. Maybe I should head back to the bedroom. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, 
I think I'm getting a little bit, you know, in too deep. Let's put it that way. Then again, maybe I should visit the beach. <laughs> I do want to have a look at this note. Calamity. My calamity is my providence. Outwardly, it is fire and vengeance. But inwardly, light and mercy. Okay. Right. Well, it looks like we are going to the bedroom after all. And we're back. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Did I leave you like that? Toppled over? Maybe that's symbolic after what I just saw. Oh, I've still got the bloody footprints even here in the bedroom. So, that actually happened? I think so. Right. Okay, so we're back out here. Um, the bathroom again? Hmm. Okay. Still nothing. Ah, a bloody handprint on that photo there. Ooh, the kitchen. All right, let's have a little look, shall we? Yeah, I gotta say, a lot of this does look very nice, very polished. I mean, I'm... Ooh, <laughs> I'm so sorry to make a mess of the place, but I have found a wedge, another little piece of this child's puzzle. I'm hearing coughing. Maybe through this door? Not sure. Okay, I don't know if we can open any of the cupboards or the fridge, right? CCCP? Oh yeah, okay, right. Back in here? Yep. Hmm. Yeah, certain things are changing, aren't they? I feel like I just need to go into each and every area and just have another little look around. Just in case. Because there might be something. Here we go. That's where the wedge goes. Now, what did that change? Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> mm, not exactly what I was expecting. I'm not exactly sure what I was expecting, but not that. I'm hearing a knocking at this door. Whoop! Okay. What just happened? Something did just happen, didn't it? Okay. What? Okay, what's this? Ooh. Okay. Has that got something to do with the door? Oh. Oh, it's got something to do with this, I think. Alright. We're rebuilding this, whatever this is. Okay, so there's a few more pieces to find. Let's have a little look around, shall we? There's another one on the floor. There you go. Right. Took me a little while to actually start this sequence off. But now I've found it. Okay. I think that's all we're going to find here. What about in the kitchen? There's got to be something in the kitchen, surely. Still hearing that coughing. But I am finding yet another piece... Right. How are we doing? Are we missing one, two? Have we found them all? Okay, right. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe the bathroom? Ah, that's still locked. The bedroom. Maybe there's going to be one around here somewhere. Ah, I think I see it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's the corner piece. That might be it. That might be the final piece. And now, I need to look at you. Much like I did in the toilets. That door there. Oh yeah. And that gives us access to the bedroom. It's very blurry. I think it's just... I think it's a naked woman with a towel on her head. Yeah. Maybe that's someone significant? The person in the body bag? A, a mother? A sister? Girlfriend? Wife? I don't know, I'm playing as a child, so probably not girlfriend or wife. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe this is her on her wedding day. This is very, very abstract. Kind of creepy. 
But yeah, very abstract. Okay. What did that change? Oh, well, that. <laughs> I just keep making a mess, don't I? Like, even now, I'm, I'm tracking blood on the carpet. There's another note over here. Let's see. I that was near your heart was removed therefrom. To lose beauty in terror. Terror in Inquisition. Okay. Uh, have you got any more puzzle pieces? That's all I really care about at this point. That's what I'm really looking for. Um, right. Out we go. Yep. Alright. Let's see. Still can't go back in the bathroom, unfortunately. Uh, nothing's changed in here. I don't think. I could be wrong. It seems like there's some very minute details in this game that you have to pay attention to. But I'm not seeing anything. Uh, what about the sort of study area? Yeah. Or the kitchen. Nothing down there on the chair, on the stool. No. What about these two doors? Come on. No? Okay. Well, there's got to be something in that study area then. Right. Right. Okay, here we are. Well, it's the demo, isn't it? Uh, oh. oh. <laughs> That's how you end it? Thank you for trying out the demo of all songs are from the king. All right. Interesting game. I'm not really sure what to make of it. If anything, it feels like a, a bizarre, abstract escape room with the occasional travel through dimensions. I quite like the puzzles, and to be honest, I kind of like the poetry, but I don't really know where it's all going to go. I think we're just getting a small snippet from, like, the middle of the game, so we haven't got a great deal of context. Maybe playing through the full thing, you know, things will fall into place and you can make more sense of it. But, yeah, right now I'm not really sure what to make of it. Decent demo, but I don't think it sold me on the full thing. What are your thoughts? Leave them down below in the comments, alright? Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Here we are. Can I leave? No, I can't. Alright. <laughs> it's the bathroom! Right! But where's the toilet? And a blue square. What the fuck? <laughs> Along with a carving knife. Which I can take. Should I be worried? I think I'm getting a little bit, you know, in too deep. Let's put it that way. Then again, maybe I should visit the beach. Oh, I've still got the bloody footprints even here in the bedroom. So that actually happened? Let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm hearing a knocking at this door. Whoop! What did that change? Oh, well, that. <laughs> I just keep making a mess, don't I?